there YouTube. Today we're going to uh, learn basic rigging using driver and controllers for a basic car. So I don't have a car model right now, so I'm just gonna make a car-like shape out of the model that I have, that is the cubes, all right? I'm just gonna use the tire for this as well. So let me just uh, drag a cube over there. I'm gonna flatten this out just like this, flatten this out, okay, there you go. And then flatten this out to the side as well. Press Shift D, move it to the side. So these will act as my tire for the cars. So before we actually start the rigging process, I want to rename this as car body and four tires, just like this. So let me just go and select the, uh, let's see the vertex right here. And then let this be the front part of the car, just like that. All right, so this is the front part and these are the backs. So select these as well. This is the front tire and those are the backs. All right, so move this inwards a bit and move this towards there. All right, there you go. So this is uh, my car I zoom. So I'm gonna parent this out. So I'm gonna go to my outline editor over here, outline editor. Okay, my outliner is here. So I'm just gonna select this, all right. So this is gonna be my front tire. So I can see there's a lot of groups that I previously created. I'm just gonna delete this out. So I just have my parts that I want. So over here, I got my, uh, this one is my car body. So I'm just gonna rename that to car body right there. This is my uh, uh, front tire. So front tire right there. This is gonna be my, this is my front left tire. So this is gonna be my front left tire. And this is gonna be my front right tire. There you go. And this is gonna be my rear uh, right tire. And this is gonna be my rear left tire. So this is gonna be my rear left tire. Okay, so now once I do that, what I want to do that is uh, I wanna parent this. So I'm gonna select four of these and then select the car body, press P, so that the car body actually um, parents all of the wheels. Because once I move the car body, I wanna make sure that the wheels move as well. So uh, I'm also gonna make a controller for this, a main controller like, so this is gonna act as my car controller. So car controller is there. So let me move this to the top and then I'm gonna select my car body and then parent it to the car controller so that once I animate, I'm actually gonna animate the controller and not the car body. So I'm gonna do two set of rigging right here. I'm gonna do setting on the rotation of the wheels and the uh, turning of the wheels. So for the rotation, I'm gonna create a circle just like this. And I'm gonna just select my uh, control vertices. I'm gonna select all of these just like this. And then I'm gonna squeeze it down so that I can see that it is rotating. And for the turning, I want to make a simple circle over here. And I'm gonna make sure that both of them are actually parented to the uh, main controller. So I'm gonna select this one right here and I'm gonna rename this. Let's say this is my uh, car uh, rotation and then this is gonna be my car rotation controller and this is gonna be my, uh, this is gonna be my car rotation controller and this is gonna be my car turning controller. Car turning controller right there. So once I do that, um, I'm gonna parent these out to the car controller as well. Just press P right there. And there you go, there's my car controller right over there. So what I'm gonna do is once I rotate this, so once I rotate this, I want the wheels to rotate. And if I were to move this left and right, this controller left and right, I want the car, the front tire to actually move as well. So I'm gonna set this over here just like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all of the tires now. All right, so I want to make sure that I actually rotate this, this side. So I'm gonna uh, do only the rotation Z. I'm gonna lock everything else. Okay, so select all of these. Control press rotation Z, right click, and right click, and then uh, lock selected, just like that. So I just can rotate, move the rotation Z now. Uh, for this, I don't wanna lock anything, all right? Um, but I can log everything here anyways because I'm gonna use my controller to move, so that's not necessary. For this, I wanna make sure that the highest value is this, lowest value is this. So I just need to root, uh, limit the information as well. 
So besides translation Z, I want to lock everything and I want to limit the information for this as well. So go to attribute editor and go to car turning controller. So go to the left. I seem to have blocked up everything else. So if I want to, let's say, do the X axis, so I'm gonna unlock the X axis. So unlock selected, so I can just move the X axis now. So this is gonna be my lowest value, uh, not the X axis. I guess uh, this is the Y axis or something. Let's just un uh, unlock this, not Y axis, Z axis, unlock this. Select this out. Let's move. try to move it. There you go. Yeah, it's the z-axis and not the y-axis. So let's just lock select it. Okay, for the z-axis, let's just go to the attribute editor. Let's go to tur uh, car turning controller and in the limit information right over there, I'm going to select translate. So translate, only the z information is there. So I'm going to select the uh, circle right here. Go to the left just like this. And then over here, this minus 4.09. So let's, uh, this is the minimum value, I presume. So limit the X and the maximum value is going to be five right over there. All right. And I'm just set my limit over there. So I can just move it like that and nothing else. For this, I just want to rotate this around. So just, this is just going to rotate just like that. So I'm going to go over here and just rotate this. So this is going to be rotation Y. So select all of these, right click and key selected. Not key selected, but lock selected. All right, so only the rotation for this will move from this axis. All right, there you go. We are ready for rigging now. All right, so what I want to do is I'm going to use my driver technique. So I'm going to select four of my tires. Let me press minus on my keyboard to actually uh, shrink that down. Select four of these tires as my driven keys. So I'm going to go to my animation. I'm going to go to uh, key, set key, set driven key and set. So four of my tires is selected. I'm going to set my select my controller and then load driver. So I'm going to select all of these. I'm going to select rotation Z and translate Z for this. I'm going to make sure that all of them are in zero value right there. So all of them are in zero value right there. So this is a rotation. Uh, now, if I were to select this, you can see that translate is in Z value. This is okay. I'm going to select this one because this one, this is car turning. The, this I'm supposed to select the Car rotation, I accidentally selected the controller. No worries, just select load driver and select this one. So rotation Y value is zero. Okay, so everything is zero, we are good to go. So select all of these, select the uh, driven keys first. Okay, make sure that everything is okay. Set key. Now I'm going to rotate this into 360 because 360 is the maximum a car, car tire can rotate. Press 360 right here. Select the tires again and then set the rotation value to 360 as well. Press enter and key. So if I were to rotate this now, you can see that the, the car is actually rotating, which is actually quite nice. But you can see that the limit, the information is limited. So in order to make it unlimited, I'm gonna select the car tire. I'm gonna go into my graph editor. So go into uh, my graph editor, animation editor and graph editor. I'm going to set an infinite loop. I'm going to make this straight first because I don't want acceleration or deacceleration because once I rotate, I want it to be straight and I'm going to loop this out. So I'm going to view, turn on infinity. As you can see, the infinity is there. So I'm going to go on to curves, pre-infinity cycle. So this is cycling out before and go on to curves, post infinity and cycle. This is cycling out to the front as well now. So if I were to rotate now, there's an infinite number of flow rotation right there. And we are done with the rotation tire. All right. Yeah, I do need to save this because I don't want to lose my hard work. So I'm going to save this. So it is loading up just like that. All right, there you go. Loading up. Okay, I'm not going to take care of the naming convention right now. So for this, I want to rotate. So now I can directly not select this as the driver anymore. So for that, I need to press Control Z on each of the tire I want to rotate. That is because I want to select this as a different attribute. So I'm going to press Control Z. And once I press Control Z, you can actually see that now this car tire is a group. So I'm going to say L10. And this one, I'm going to press Z again. And then this is also going to be R10. And when I select the driver now, driven keys now, I'm going to select this group 
instead of the front left tire because this is where the rotation actually lies. So I'm going to select both of these. So I'm going to select this one. I'm going to select center pivot first. So modify center pivot and then modify center pivot again. So I'm going to select both of these and then I'm going to key this. So I'm going to go into my um, I'll go into my key over here. So key, set driven key and set. There you go. My turns are there. And this is going to be my uh, driver key. All right. So I'm going to select both of these. Maybe I select, so I forgot to lock. I want this to rotate like this. So rotation Y only. Select all of these. And except for rotation Y, I'm going to key selected. Sorry, I'm going to lock selected. All right. So, and then I want to set the initial position a bit off. So just double click and drag this out. So let's rotate this out, out a bit. So this is 19 maybe. Maybe 20 will be my left key. And I'm going to make sure that this is actually turned to the left as well. So now I'm going to select my uh, driven keys. I'm going to set. Oh, both of these are should be selected. Select both of them. My driven keys are selected. Key, move this to the right. Then select the left and right turn and then again rotate, rotate this out uh, to around uh, minus 20 and then key again. So now what happens is that if I move this, then the car actually turns. And then if I actually rotate this, the car actually, the tire actually rotates. So if you want to make an animation, now you're free to make it. So you can do a path animation on this as well. All right. So select the curve, select the path, and then go to animation, constraint, uh, motion path, attached to motion path. So this is just 20 seconds of animation, right? Let me just do it 200. So let's go to uh, uh, constraint, motion path, attached to motion path, and then start will be one and end will be 200. Okay, let's do that and press attach. And once you do that, you can actually see that the animation is there. Now I want to add the animation to the rotation for the wheel. So I'm just going to rotate this out for the rotation. I'm just going to press S, go to the end, and then rotate this out just like this. Okay, so rotate out on the part I want. Let's see if the animation is actually okay. Yes, the rotation is actually too much. So I'm going to reduce this. This is 3000 uh, degrees again. So I'm just going to press 2000 degrees and press S. So if I were to do this, it actually rotating backwards. So it's going to be minus 2000 over here. So I'm going to press uh, S over here. So this is actually quite slow again now. So as you can see, so starting point is minus. Uh, okay, so it is rotating, but it is rotating kind of slow. So I'm going to say 10, minus 10,000. Okay, press S. Okay, this is too fast now. So I need to find the sweet spot actually. So minus 5,000 maybe. Okay, so this seems okay, but too fast already. Minus 3,000. So let me just play that to find out. Okay, it's sliding out. So maybe 4,000 is the sweet spot. Okay. There you go. Okay. So now this looks okay. And for the uh, turning, I want to add in some animation as well. So just press F. And for the turning, uh, I want this to start straight. So I want this to start straight like this. Okay, straight. Go to the side and over here, it needs to start turning. All right. So over here, the turning starts. And from here, the turning is going to be more turned. Okay, there you go. So it seems turned, all right, turning is there. And over here at this section, I want the turning to straighten out. Okay, so there you go. The turning is actually okay now. So if you want to see the animation, you can easily create the rotation of the four wheels and then you can do the turning animation as well. So if you were to see from the top, you can see that the turning is happening as well. So even if the uh, model is complex, the principle is the same and you can apply the animation just like that. So this is how you create a basic rigging for um, animating a car uh, inside of Maya. So as always, uh, you hope you guys learn something. And as always, please like.